Stop everything you're doing and pay attention. I just received new information that Mothra is indeed confirmed for the movie, and Titan Phosphora has simply been cut, even after their official image was released on the internet. What's going on Legendary? Come with me in this video because I'll try to clarify your doubts, but I'll admit, I'm pretty confused too. Welcome back to Nerds Insights, your daily nerdy news channel. Last week, I posted a video stating that Mothra had been scrapped from Godzilla and Kong the New Empire, and that Titan Phosphora had just been confirmed through an image. However, I received information from another channel stating that Phosphora wouldn't be in the movie, even after their image was circulated on the internet. This contradicts entirely with the video I posted last week. If you missed it, there'll be a card here for you to catch up. And before that, drop a like and subscribe to the channel because we have videos every day. And I assure you, you'll enjoy staying well informed here. Nerds Insights, KDM said Phosphora isn't in the movie. If you don't know, KDM is one of, if not the main journalist with inside information from Legendary, a guy with reliable information from within Warner, and this information changes everything in the development of the movie Godzilla x Kong The New Empire and the Monsterverse in general, let me explain in detail for you to understand. In one of Legendary's test screenings for the Godzilla x Kong movie, the main complaint was about Titanus, Phosphora being too similar to Mothra, it was like a blatant copy of the Queen of Titans, the current Legendary and Warner are investing in their own Titans instead of paying for the rights of existing Toho Kaijus, that's how Titanus Phosphora was born, there were many criticisms from the audience, and because of that, Legendary decided to replace Phosphora with Mothra. If you're lost and don't know what a test screening is, here's a brief explanation. A test screening is when a Hollywood movie production company invites regular people, critics or even random individuals off the street to watch a surprise movie. This is done to gauge the expected reactions of people according to the movie's plan. For example, if people felt sad during a sad moment, got scared during a frightening moment, or got excited during an exciting moment, and so on. Those who attended the Godzilla x Kong The New Empire test screening complained a lot about Phosphora being an identical copy of Mothra, and due to this negative feedback, the production company decided to make a change. However, the official image of Titanus Phosphora was released on the internet, and from that, we can see the appearance of this new legendary kaiju. It has nothing to do with Mothra. While Mothra is a giant and beautiful butterfly, Phosphora is a different creature, resembling a gargoyle, more like the Ion Dragon. The two are completely dissimilar. So if the leak test screening complained that Mothra and Phosphora were very similar, and in the images, we see that they are not similar at all. And, now that we've had the official image of Phosphora released, we can conclude that the leak test screening was false. No one complained about Phosphora being too similar to Mothra because they aren't similar. Therefore, I made the video explaining this and that probably Mothra would remain out of the Monsterverse for now. But then I received this information that Phosphora was cut from the movie and it's going to be Mothra after all, confirmed by both this channel and people in the comments. I can't confirm these details yet, but I'm starting to believe it's true. Firstly, you guys know much more about Monsterverse than I do, so I always pay attention to what you're saying. Be it information, theories, or critiques, I'm constantly checking everything. Secondly, this channel that shared this information is highly reliable. I'm not sure if I can mention them here, but certainly some of you are familiar with them. Lastly, those who leaked the test screenings have been accurate with everything confirmed so far, so there's a high chance it's real. This changes everything in the Monsterverse. Like I mentioned in the previous video, how are they going to make Mothra appear in this movie? Mothra stayed in her cocoon for hundreds of years until hatching and becoming a caterpillar, then a butterfly. After her death, she transferred her consciousness to an egg in the middle of Boston, how will they make her hatch again in just 5 years? Another concern is repeating what happened in 2019 against Monster Zero, Godzilla being unable to control his power and Mothra coming to help again, it would be very repetitive. Finally, if this is indeed Mothra in this image, how did she end up in the Hollow Earth? How did they remove her from the city and place her in a cave surrounded by crystals, being worshipped by a native people there? Lastly, it's a huge hype break if the monarch's divine titan turns out to be Mothra. In case you don't know, the other part of the leaked script suggests that Monarch is hiding a divine kaiju that will assist Godzilla and Kong in the final battle against Scar King and Shimo in Rio de Janeiro. Then tell me, Mothra or Phosphora, who do you prefer to appear in Godzilla x Kong the New Empire as the Monarch's divine kaiju? I prefer Phosphora. And you, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Here, we have informative videos every day that are essential for you to stay informed about what's happening in the online world. If you enable the notification bell, you ensure that this information reaches you, then, it's up to you whether you watch it or not, but at least you'll know what's happening just from the video title. Don't forget to take care of yourself, leave your like and see you next time.